How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase showing off the Bergen County's mobile makerspace. How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're going over today is the Bergen County's mobile makerspace that we built for them. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please comment, share, subscribe, ask questions. We try to answer every single comment. So what we started out was uh, is a repurposed vehicle. We started out with a vehicle that had been a mobile classroom that they took uh, or they used in applications that they didn't have for anymore. So we had a, a chassis, we gutted the inside of it, and then we built it back up from there. So what we started out with this is a step van. So not really a lot of normal lights and uh, sirens kind of deal, but we did a color, um, but we've done a lot of other custom stuff to it. So uh, we did a, a full vehicle wrap on it. We worked with them to design kind of something that fits the, uh, the project that they were going with. Brought in some gears and some drones and some electronics drawings. So up front, really nothing other than that, but we did change the headlights out to the Firetech seven inch round lights to give them better uh, visibility at night. What you also can't see is up on the roof, uh, we've lined it with solar panels. These are designed to help charge the batteries up and augment them and give them a little extra power when needed. Uh, electrical system on this is designed for a no generator, no idle. So we have two lithium ion batteries that power four different inverters that power the HVAC system, all the electronics, all the equipment for an eight hour day, which gives them plenty of time to do all the curriculum that they're gonna need. And then they go back and they can charge it back up for another day. So taking a look at the driver's side, uh, this side's very simple. Uh, we did three Firetech Guardian Junior 6x4 scene lights to give them uh, lighting around the bus at night. Uh, we also have Philips Hue uh, underbody lighting all the way around that tie into the interior ones. We've got 110 outlets to power any equipment that they're doing when they're doing demonstrations on the outside. We have our shoreline input. This will charge our batteries when they get back, plug it in, it'll charge them up. They can also, um, if they have a site that has power, they can plug the shoreline in and charge the batteries and use everything while they're doing that. Uh, we have airline style tracking mounted down the complete side of it on three different positions. This allows them to put mounts in here and they can do um, any type of demonstration so they could hold like they're gonna have a wind tunnel. It's got a mount to it, they're able to strap it in. So taking a look at the back, um, we added two more Firetech Guardian Junior lights for scene lighting. And then the other biggest thing that we added was this uh, Tommy Gate lift, along with cutting in a door to the back that lets them bring out any carts or equipment out through the back door. And then they can raise and lower the lift gate in order to safely get the equipment in and out because they're gonna be doing stuff around or they may bring one of the carts inside to the classrooms into a lesson plan that way. Uh, this required a lot of work from the fabrication department. We had to manufacture a lot of parts and restructure everything to take the load of what the Tommy gate will do. And then we also replaced the brake tail turn lights with some Technique oval lights. So taking a look at the passenger side, this is gonna be where they're gonna be doing lessons and people can view what's going on. So uh, we have three Fire 6x4 Guardian Junior lights. Uh, we have our speakers from uh, that are on the driver and passenger side. This allows them to play music or they can have a microphone on them. Uh, it's all wireless. So people can hear what's going on the inside on the outside. Um, Fabrication department fabricated two television boxes. So these house um, Sunbright TVs, which are designed for outdoor use. They're anti-glare so that if you're in a, a direct sunlight, you can still see the picture. Uh, they fabricated it up and cut it into the side of the television. And then we have our HDMI cables and ethernet run into our AV cabinet where there's distribution so they can um, display different things on it. We have our airline style track system down the side as we do on the other side. We have workstations in the front and the back. So what they do is they unhook, they lift up, they have a little handle, very simple, pops up. This allows them to do uh, any demonstrations out here. They can put stuff for people to see. Um, you can do a lesson out here um, and they can also view what's going from there inside. And then we also added 110 volt outlets to the side below them so that they can 
uh, utilize the power off the inverter system that's in there. So what we're taking a look at the inside, so we're starting at the uh, rearmost area of it. Uh, this originally was a full fixed wall. We cut the opening, restructured it, and we put in another door to give access to the lift gate so that they're able to take these carts. So there's a couple of these carts through the unit so that they're able to uh, store equipment in it, roll it out, <clears throat> and then easily take it on and off the truck along with these Milwaukee packout kits that we have for storage for small parts. Um, on the shelves, we got spots for chairs and other equipment. These are our fixed working stations. So these are gonna have uh, 3D printers or laser engravers on them. Uh, they've got power in the compartments for it. Um, we've got our heat control on this side. Uh, like we said before, we have our Milwaukee packout set with uh, smaller bins and the totes. We've got a Milwaukee toolbox that's permanently mounted here. Up top, we have our sliding doors that allow access to any equipment that's stored in there. You can see that we have uh, lighting built into the 8020 track system that we use to construct all the workstations. And then we've got Philips Hue um, multicolor lights that are controlled up inside of the compartments to help light them up. We've got two doors. So these house our uh, Hue controller, our ethernet ports, and then that's where the, they're gonna put their modem to give everything Wi-Fi because they're gonna be broadcasting camera footage from here into a classroom when necessary. And then on this side, this is our uh, microphone speaker control system. And this is also where our TVs come in so that they're gonna be able to uh, project whatever they need from there onto the monitors. We've got our stools, some more Milwaukee pack out. On this side, we have two carts. So these carts will be able to come out. Um, they're gonna be able to store equipment. They're gonna be able to take these, roll them outside, use them for workstations, roll equipment out. You can see that we have our HVAC system. We've got two air conditioning units. Um, all of our wall panels were made. Uh, They're made out of magnetic dry erase material, so you can write on them. You can take anything, you can stick on it. Uh, dry erase markers, that normal stuff. This is our uh, electrical area. So what we have, this is our storage area. So we have our inverters mounted in here, and then we have two lithium ion batteries, and then we've got four, a four inverter system with uh, a whole bank of solar chargers on the roof. What the system's been designed to do is for this truck to be able to be driven somewhere and parked, and it will run everything um, for eight hours minimum off of two lithium ion batteries. So that's including our HVAC units, all the equipment that's gonna be in here. Uh, it, part of a, a Go Green initiative, anti-idling. So this is a great solution, not only for this, but if you have another project where you wanna have everything running off of batteries and not having to run a generator. Uh, you can see that we've got our uh, battery display showing our voltage. Uh, we've got two inverter controls for our inverters up here. We have two more controllers for our main inverters. And then we have our uh, main control panel that shows our battery readout, how many of our amps we're drawing, um, the charging status, because we are plugged in at the moment as we're testing all that stuff. And then you can see what this is with it being open. We've got our inverters, our lithium ion batteries are down below, and we have all of our main electrical distribution. So this is another tool that they can use to teach about um, electricity, solar charging, that stuff. So it's also a prop for them also. So what we did with all the tracking system is this is all 80-20 track. Uh, with the black finish, we've got a red wire mesh to break up all the sections. Uh, gives it a nice look, and then we've got a gray top on everything, and these are all interchangeable, so you can uh, change these out if you ever wanted to. All of our stations have 110 volt power. We've got another set of Milwaukee packout system. And then here we have another door that they use to store equipment, keep it from rolling out. Um, what we've also done is we've removed the floor that was existing in here and we replaced it with an emergency vehicle style coin roll floor uh, that's supposed to be anti-skid, easy to clean. And then we went through, cleaned up all the trim and replaced it. So we left most of the front intact from where it was from stock. Uh, there was a panel up here that we actually cut out where the original distribution system was. And we have all of our different inverter control panels along with our 24 volt system which is for all the interior lights 
and then we have our 12 volt lights and accessories. Um, what we did was we made a panel, we brought the same logo that we have from the sides in there, and then we also engraved underneath each one what they control to make it easily identifiable. identifiable. So each inverter brings its power pier and then it's distributed here. So we have stuff for our air conditioning, our outlets. Uh, we've got a switch in between our heaters. And then we have all of our appliance and stuff. And then we have our appliance, second appliance inverter. And then these control the interior lights and then 12 volt system. So thanks for checking out our build showcase this week. We're very happy with the project. We hope the County of Bergen enjoys the, the vehicle and that helps provide a lot of beneficial to the community. If you guys have any questions on the vehicle, please feel free to reach out to us, email, direct message, call us, chat with us. We'd love to talk to you about the vehicle, answer any questions you have about this vehicle or a project that may suit you better.